Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zedlow's Kitchen. Today I am making apple pie egg rolls. So let's get to cooking. All right, so to start with, I have two Granny Smith apples. So I'm going to peel them and then chop them up into small dices. All right, so they are all peeled. So I'm going to just chop these in half like this and save the core. You want to get as close to the core as you can. We are just going to be chopping these up into little dices. So I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to go like that and then chop them up like so. Then dump these in. Like that. All right, so now we have all of our apples. At this point, we are going to cook these down, put some cinnamon, vanilla, brown sugar, and a little bit of flour to thicken up the, the juices. And then we're gonna fill uh, the egg rolls with this filling. So let's get to cooking. All right, so we have our pan on medium heat, and I'm going to add in a half a tablespoon of butter to the pan. That is what we're gonna cook down our apples with. So we're gonna let this melt just a little bit, just to kind of get this going. All right, so I added in my Granny Smith apples. Now I'm just gonna coat them in the butter. We're gonna let this cook down a little bit. You can use any kind of apples you want. Um, Granny Smith are the best for baking and all that. So that's why I'm using them. But you could use Red Delicious, you could use uh, Fuji, you could use one of the Golden, Red, Red Delicious, Golden, isn't there a Golden one? Something like that. Uh, any kind you want. Because each apple does taste different. So, you know, but hey, with us adding brown sugar and cinnamon, it's going to taste sweet anyway. So you almost want like a, a tart, a tartiness and this kind of apple to kind of go pair up well with the sweet. So we're just going to mix this in, just let it cook down for a little. All right, so as you can see, it's cooking a little. I'm going to add in my brown sugar. I'm going to be using a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, just dump that in here. Then we're just gonna mix this around. Like so. Yeah. I'm gonna do another another fourth of a cup. Just to Mix it around like so. Now, I like a lot of cinnamon. You can add in as much cinnamon as you want, um, but I like a lot of cinnamon. I like the taste of cinnamon. So I'm gonna add in a lot. Because I feel like there's never enough cinnamon in cinnamon desserts, like uh, apple pie. I feel like they're like you get you get the cinnamon, but I just you know I just don't feel that the cinnamon is there. So 
we're just gonna, I would probably say I added in, mm, let me see. I would say about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons, teaspoon and a half at least. So we're gonna mix this around. As you can see, it looks delicious already. It smells delicious. You have, just gonna hold it up. Like, it looks so good. We're gonna add in a little bit of flour, actually, no. We're gonna add in a little bit of cornstarch. We're gonna make a, a cornstarch slurry. That's what, is what they call it. Which is just water and cornstarch mixed together. That way it's, it um, makes this thicker. Alright, so I have my water here. It's about, about three-fourths cup of water, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of cornstarch, and then I'm just going to mix it up. Like that. Mix it up until it's dissolved. Then I'm just going to add it in. Just slowly until I think it's good. That's good. Because again, this is just going to thicken up the brown sugar and the cinnamon and like the juice to have that nice glaze over the apples. I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to go ahead and And as you can see, it's already it's already thickening up as well. You can see how it's not running to the middle, which is exactly what we want. It smells good. It just looks good. Now, if you want, if you, I know this is not the video, but I think I'll do a video on it anyway. But like, you can make this into applesauce. At this point, the apple, you know, the apples are soft. You just take a, a blender or an immersion blender or even a food processor and blend it up into applesauce. But as you can see, you can see it's, it's thickening. It looks good. So we're going to take this off the heat and I'm going to dump it in, in this bowl. I'll do this over here, turn it off. Gonna take this, can you guys see that? No, you can't. Okay, so like that. So we'll go ahead and just dump that in like that. And then what I do when I make these, I'm gonna let this cool just slightly before we start adding them into the egg rolls. Um, I'm actually gonna clean this pan, so I'll be back. All right, so this is, what we're gonna do. So I have about a, I would say a tablespoon of mix in here. Then we are going to, I'm just gonna kind of do what I did with the, what do you call it? Wontons. Just put water on the sides, fold it like that fold it in on itself, and then we're gonna wrap it. These are gonna be a little small, but that's okay. Wanna make sure that they are covered like so. And then I'm gonna get these prepared. All right, so I'm finishing up my last one. I got about seven of them, which isn't bad for two apples. But I'm gonna go ahead and just fold this in and then just roll this up. Not the best looking egg roll, but that's okay. Just gonna, there we go. Make sure that this is sealed tight. I am preheating my air fryer at 350 degrees. And then this is what they look like. And then I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray like that. I'm using canola oil to kind of get it nice and crispy. So then I'm going to take these and put these in the air fryer for about between five to 10 minutes. 
So here's my air fryer. And then I'm going to just gently place all of these inside in a single layer. Like so. All right, so here they are. I added a little powdered sugar to them. Oh, but don't these look delicious. Okay, so as you could see, well, be, even before I get into it, look how, look, look how crispy that is. All right, ready? Here we go. Mmm. 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 So good. It's still hot. Let me try to get you a, a picture of the inside. There we go. Mm. Kind of my beard. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's see. Mmm. The apples are nice and soft. You taste the cinnamon. And the powdered sugar doesn't even add like more sweetness to it. It is just so good. But so hot. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Try this recipe. Try this recipe. It is delicious. It's simple. And it's easy. And I did these in the air fryer. I was going to fry them. Which... I will say it would probably give it a nice more crunch, like an actual egg roll. But I think, I think these, these did pretty well. So delicious. So good. But yeah, that does it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to know when I post videos. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to be the best you can be, and I will see you all in the next Zetlo's Kitchen. Bye!